Today, you're going to learn how to make an Earl Grey milk tea using powder. By popular demand, I'm bringing you drinks that reflect the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and birthday this month. So whether you're celebrating or not, I hope that you enjoy these tasty quintessential British flavors. Earl Grey is my favorite to serve at afternoon tea, so why not make it into a boba tea and go one step further by making it as easy as possible via powder. So we'll get to that part in a minute, but to begin, we want to start by brewing a light tea base. In a lot of my other milk tea recipes, I recommend using a heaping tablespoon of loose leaf tea or two tea bags. But actually because this powder that we're gonna be using already has the tea and Earl Grey flavoring in it, we don't really need to bring too much of that in the undertone because it is already readily present. So you could just actually make it with hot water. But I like the flavor of my Earl Grey tea to be just a tad stronger, so I'm gonna go for one tea bag today. On the back, it says, a light and refreshing tea with a citrus flavor of zesty bergamot. Mm. And to keep things as simple as possible, we're just gonna follow the directions on the back fresh boiling water, and brew for three to four minutes. And because I'm gonna be putting it in here, I'm simply gonna cut off this part like that. And pop that in there. And then we're going to measure in 170 milliliters of boiling hot water. and we're just going to leave that covered to brew for about four minutes. And while the tea is brewing, we're going to measure in our dry ingredients. First, I'm going to measure in two heaping tablespoons of the bubble tea creamer powder. If you're using an industry standard brown bubble tea scoop, then it will be two flat brown scoops. And next is two heaping tablespoons of the Earl Grey milk tea bubble tea powder. <sighs> that smells amazing. I can't wait to drink it. And last but not least is two flat teaspoons of fructose powder. If you're using fructose syrup, then it would be 14 milliliters. And if you don't like your drinks sweet at all, just omit this step. And alternatively, you could use things like honey or brown sugar. When the tea is ready, carefully strain it into your shaker and stir until combined. Add ice all the way to the top. Put on the middle lid and top lid and shake really well for about one minute. We know our drink is ready when there's a really nice condensation around the outside of the shaker and majority of the ice has melted. Next, pour your topping of choice into your glass. And for a drink like this, my favorite is boba. I got some nice warm honey tapioca pearls ready to go. And an Earl Grey milk tea is not a royal without a crown. I crown the Earl Grey of milk tea. Cheers! Mmm. Wow. So, so, so good. I must say, this is quite a jolly Earl Grey milk tea with or without the added extra Earl Grey tea in it. And I definitely recommend that if you are looking for an amazing, delicious drink for this Platinum Jubilee and Queen's birthday this year, that you give the idea of an Earl Grey milk tea from powder a try. See you again soon. Take care.